Excuse me. Stop right there. I'm sorry, is there something wrong? Yeah, there is something wrong. You didn't tip me. What? Yes, I did. Oh, please. Five dollars is not a tip. It's an insult. I'm, I'm sorry, that's all that I have. <laughs> you know, it's bad enough that you stiffed me. You don't have to lie about it, too. He, he didn't lie. Hang on. After all that I did for you tonight, I deserve more than five bucks. After all that you did for us, you took forever to take our food order. You never even came by once to refill our water glasses. I'm sorry, look. I, I know that your job is difficult sometimes, but um, the service wasn't exactly top-notch. So you're blaming me? No. <laughs> look, I'm not the bad guy here, okay? You're the one who's too yeah. cheap uh, to leave a real tip. Not... Chris, that... We'll anyway. see who has the last laugh. Paul, just, just come on. It's not worth it. Go ahead, son. Dad, why was that waiter so angry? Well, he felt like he deserved a bigger tip. I gave him the most that I could afford, but it wasn't enough for him, I guess. No, I mean, why did he expect a tip in the first place? He was so rude to us all night. He barely did anything. It's just how some people are. But that's not fair. What's wrong, buddy? It's just... I feel like this is all my fault. What? Why would you say that? Because... I'm the one who wanted to go out to eat for my birthday. And... If we just would have stayed home. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. And none of this is your fault. It was your birthday. We should celebrate it. Don't worry about your old man. And after I nail this job interview tomorrow, everything is going to turn around for us. Hopefully. It will. Don't you look handsome for your big interview. You are an angel. Thanks, honey. Oh. What's wrong? You, you okay? Oh. Nothing. It's, it's just we really need this interview to go well. Well, I know that we do. But trust me, okay? This job was made for me, and I have already aced the first two interviews. Today, it's just a formality. Okay. You've got this, sweetie. Mm-hmm. Your resume is quite impressive. In fact, our two hiring managers, they were raving about you. Thanks. Everybody that I have met has been fantastic, and I think that I'd be a great fit in this company, and this is the type of job that I've been looking for my entire life, and, well, I can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Well, I don't see why we can't make this official. Excuse me. I'm sorry to interrupt, Miss Steele, but you need to see this. I worked myself to the bone, making sure this guy and his whole family had the best dining experience possible. And what does he do? He stiffs me, doesn't even leave a tip. Can you believe that? The worst part, when I confronted him about it, he blamed it on me, talking about how I didn't deserve a tip. Can you even? Everyone needs to know what type of person this man is. <laughs> Can you explain this, Paul? That's not how it looks. I cannot hire somebody who treats people like that. I need a manager who is great with people every day. That's me, really. Listen, that, that whole thing, it, it was a big, big misunderstanding. Look, he's not telling the truth about what happened. I did give him a tip, yes, it was kind of small, but it was all that I could afford. Well, thank you for coming by today, Paul. Um, HR will be in touch. What's wrong? Dad? 
I didn't get the job. I thought they loved you. Did. Until I found this. I worked myself to the bone, making sure this guy and his whole family had the best dining experience possible. And what does he do? He stiffs me, doesn't even leave a tip. Can you believe that? The worst part, when I confronted him about it, he blamed it on me, talking about how I didn't deserve a tip. Can you even? Everyone needs to know what type of person this man is. Well, this isn't fair. He's lying about everything that happened. I know. I know, but it doesn't even matter. I mean, it's all over social media. I'm assuming everyone that sees it thinks it's true. I mean, why wouldn't they? Sorry, Dad. This is all my fault. Hey, 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 none of this is your fault. You hear me? You did nothing wrong. Yeah. Besides, everything's going to be all right. I'm going to find a new job in no time, and we're going to be able to take you out wherever you want to dinner and get your real birthday presents, too. Mm-hmm. Come here, buddy. Let's do... Past due. Overdue. Maybe I should just look for a job too. No way. I'm just gonna take care of Gray. Besides, you've always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. I promised to make that a reality for you when we got married. I just don't know how else we're gonna make a dent in these bills. Hey. Hey. Everything is gonna be okay. I'm gonna find a job. Look, one of these is gonna work out. You'll see. Go for that one. I got a good feeling about it. Find a job. Hmm? Paul went door to door looking for work, armed only with his resume and a smile. But everywhere he went, all Paul found was rejection after rejection. Things were looking bleak for Paul. He was in need of a real miracle. Oh, what happened? all over this city looking for work. Can't find a job anywhere. Oh. I don't know what we're gonna do. Yes. Paul? It's Mrs. Steele. From Dino Enterprises. Is this Paul? Yes. Yes, I can be there in an hour. Thank you. She wants another interview. No. <laughs> ah! oh! I knew it. I knew it. You guys get shut No. Oh. Yes, I do. I am thrilled to have another chance, Mrs. Steele, truly. But I have to ask, why did you change your mind? <clears throat> well, you see, I didn't believe your side of the story when you told me what happened at the restaurant that night until I saw the video that your son made. I just feel terrible about the way I treated you. 
What video? <laughs> Since the internet seems to think my dad is some sort of monster, I wanted to share the truth about him. My dad is the most kind, the most loving, the most supportive person ever. Anyone who knows him loves him. And he would do anything to make someone stay brighter. That's just who he is. But now, the whole internet seems to think my dad is just a big jerk. It's not true. You see, my dad's been out of work for almost a year. And our family has been pretty tight on money. But I wanted to go out to eat for my birthday. And my dad, being the great guy he is, took us out, even though he was almost broke. Everything that happened that night that the waiter guy said didn't happen. The waiter was so rude and barely did his job. Even so, my dad still left the biggest tip he could. Sure, it was only $5, that's all he could afford. If I hadn't asked him to take us out, then none of this would have happened. Just wish there was some way to fix this. I am so sorry that I judged you without hearing your side of the story. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So, make up for it. I'm not only going to give you the job, but I'm going to increase your salary by 20%. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. Steele. I won't let you down. Welcome aboard. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Thank you. And your office is right down the hall. Home. What's this? Yeah, I'll open it up and see. No way. Uh, uh, PS5? How? I know it's a little bit late, but it is for your birthday. I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. You know, that little video you made really saved us. Without it, I don't think I would have gotten this great new job or been able to buy this beautiful new home. I want to thank you for having my back, Gray. And tonight, we are going to go to your favorite restaurant and celebrate. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, but this time, Dad, leave a bigger tip. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it is you. Wow, this is hilarious. Daniel, how long has it been, huh? About like eight years since college? And you turned out exactly as I knew you would. Bro, <laughs> I even caught you riding the bus? <laughs> that is so sad, bro. The bus gets me around just fine. I'd rather save my money. Wow, you have not changed one bit. And that is funny, considering what you said to me the last time we saw each other. Do you remember that? <laughs> Yeah, you see, that's what happens when you buy cheap stuff. It breaks. One day I'm going to be so rich, you're going to regret messing with me. Oh, really? Well, too bad that's never going to happen, huh? You're always going to be a broke loser. <laughs> Come on, boys. And here we are. All these years later, and you are still a broke loser that needs to ride the bus. Meanwhile, I'm making bank driving a Porsche. Just because I'm riding the bus doesn't mean you're more successful than me. Oh, please, I make 500K at my job before bonuses, so yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's exactly what that means. You know, you need to make money in order to spend money. I mean, look at you with your secondhand clothes and your raggedy shoes and your Timex watch. <laughs> I mean, you can't even afford to buy your own book, bro. You have to check it out of the library? Whew. 
You clearly don't have the money to spend. Face it. I won. That's a very narrow way to view success. Well, what am I doing talking to you anyway? No one cares what a broke chump like you thinks. Take the L. Anyway, have fun riding the bus. And, and dreaming about what it's like to be as rich as me. Yeah, this one is nice. Well, the price for that watch is 20,000. <laughs> Pocket change. <laughs> oh, that was close. The bus broke down for us to be late and I ran out. <laughs> is there something funny, sir? Yeah, I used to know that guy. We went to college together. Man, he was such a nerd. I used to just roast him all day, every day. It was hilarious. You know what the best part is? He told me that one day he was gonna become some big shot multi-millionaire. But now he just works here at the mall. Isn't that sad? I'll take the watch, but I wanna wear it out of the store. Certainly, I see your wrist. Nope, I want him to put it on my wrist. And then I want him to ring me up. Otherwise, I walk out the door and your store loses out on a very lucrative client. Sure, Jake. Not a problem. And I'll be paying with this. The type of exclusive card that you would never even dream of having. You know you better get used to this, Daniel because I am going to come back every week and make you watch while I drop the kind of money that you swore you would have. Go ahead. But if you keep spending money on watches and things that doesn't matter just to brag, you'll be broke sooner than later. Yeah. Keep telling yourself that. It's just basic financial advice. I'd have taken if I were you. And why would I take financial advice from someone who doesn't even have their own money, huh? I'll tell you what, why don't you stick to ringing up my Rolexes and I'll stick to making stacks, okay? Bye-bye now. Jake continued to spend more and more money, showing off his success in order to impress everyone he met. Jake didn't worry about how much money he spent because he believed he'd always be making six figures. At least until he was fired. Jake's partying and late night spent showing off caused him to miss deadline after deadline until his boss finally had enough. With no money set aside for savings, Jake couldn't afford the rent on his penthouse apartment. Jake was forced to sell everything he could, from his furniture, to his fancy suits, to his sports car, to even his prized Rolex collection, just to avoid being evicted. Oh, this can't be right. Thank you, Lord. Man, where is this guy? Wow. You know, I didn't know the bus ran to this part of town. Well, it does. What are you doing here, anyway? You know, the prices around here are a bit out of your tax bracket. Actually, I'm waiting for someone who's selling me their car and some Rolexes. Wait. You're the one buying my stuff? Huh. I guess I am. I don't get it though. How can someone as broke 
as you afford to buy my Porsche and my Rolex collection. Because I'm not as broke as you assumed. You see, while you're busy spending your money on flashy clothes and expensive watches, I looked for bargains. Instead of spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on a depreciating asset like fancy sports car, I spent 50 on a bus pass. And while you were out partying and spending your money, I was saving mine and investing it in things that gain value, not lose them. You see, I'm a millionaire. A multi-millionaire, actually. You know, in fact, I was a millionaire the day that you was mocking me at the jewelry store. Really? If that's the case, then why do you work at the mall? I like working for one, but mainly, I'm always doing my research. Research? For what? Whether or not to buy that mall. Oh, I get it. So you bought the entire mall, right? Investing in commercial real estate is how I turn millions into hundreds of millions. No. No way. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. I don't get it. If you're not into spending money, then why do you want to buy all my stuff? Because I'm going to resell for a higher price to make a higher profit. Oh, okay. Then I just won't sell them to you. How about that? <laughs> Come on, Jake. We both know you have to sell to me. Oh, yeah? Why do you say that? It's a simple deduction. You wouldn't be selling these items unless you absolutely have to which means you're facing an unexpected cash pinch, likely from losing your job. And with the spending habits that you have, <laughs> I bet you are drowning in credit card debt, which means you have to sell what you can as fast as you can in order for you to keep a roof over your head. So this is what you're going to do. First, you're going to apologize to me for all the times you bullied and mocked me over the years. Then you're gonna sell me your car and your watches for the agreed to price. Or you can just explain to your landlord on how you can make rent again this month. Wait, wait, wait. You have a deal, okay? And look. I'm sorry for all the things that I said and did. It turns out you're right after all. You know, I'd be more than happy to help you get your finances in order if you're willing to stop the frivolous spending. Really? Sure. That's if you're okay with getting advice from a, a loser who rides the bus. I'm more than okay with it. Thanks, man. I, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, is that you? Hey, Jackson, can I take your order? Yo, can you believe this guy used to be my college rival? Now I'm pulling up in a Porsche and my guy's working a, a what, a McJob? <laughs> what can I get for you today? Uh, hit us with uh, four number threes, the meal. Cokes for all of us. And the, yo, make it snappy, man. What is this? It's fast food, right? That'd be $34.95. Thought I had something a little smaller than a hundred. Sorry about that, my guy. But that's the first Benjamin he's seen in years. Bro living that brute life of a pocket lint. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm happy you're successful, but... But? But you should treat people on your way up with respect. Because you never know who you might need on your way down. Yo, do you hear this guy? He's giving me advice. Me. 
Yo, do you see the whip? Can you imagine how much the drip cost? You couldn't afford this with 100 paychecks. So how about the next time you think about giving me advice? Just go ahead and shut that up. Give me that. You're nine to five. Broke boy! <laughs> Our seasons come down to this. Win, and we're in the playoffs. Lose, and we're done. Finished. These are the games you all dreamed of playing ever since you were kids shooting around on the playground. These are the games that turn men into legends. So I need your absolute focus. Hey, pay attention. Man, keep on my business. You're not even a starter, you just keep the bench one for real start. Knock it off. We're trying to prepare for the biggest game of our lives. I know, coach. That's what I'm trying to tell this girl to leave me be. You may be our star player, Jackson, but I need you to pay attention to the game plan. Whatever, man. I, I'm the best player in the league. I don't need a, a game plan. I got this, don't even trip. Skill only gets you so far. There's more to winning than just talent. That's just something you tell people who don't have talent to make them feel better. Like Pampers over here. Hey, we're trying to win a title. So get your head on straight. This stuff's important, man. Maybe the X's and O's are important for somebody like you. Because honestly, your game's softer than baby food. Enough. Enough. That's enough. That's like That's enough. Yeah, come on. Hey, enough. You know what? You're right. That is enough. Yo, I'm out of this place, man. We're not done here, Jackson. Write over whatever game plans you got and just text it to me tonight. And I'll get to it when I get to it. Y'all don't even trip. Relax. I'm going to do what I do. Hello? Hey, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. <sighs> Yo, uh, sorry guys, I got, I gotta go. It's, it's getting late. I got a game tomorrow and everything. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Come on, don't leave us yet. We were just about to do some body shots. <sighs> Yo, another round. With Jameson? Yeah, yeah, doubles. Weapons on you? Bro. Huh? Not a good night to be drinking and driving now, is it? If I get oh. stuck, this another charge. You got the right to remain sound. <laughs> oh, oh, you in big, big trouble. Oh, you a track star, ain't you, huh? Huh? Yes, got you. What, DWI? Now I got your resistance arrest? Kids gonna love this. Jackson. Got a visitor. Coach. You're gonna bail me out? Bail you out? Do you realize what you've done? You're lucky you didn't kill anyone with that little stunt. I know, but I'm sorry. I'll, I'll make it up to you. I promise, you get me out of here, I'm gonna bring you a title. It's too late for that. Come on, it's, it's not too late. The owner cut you this morning. Cut me? <laughs> but I'm your best player. A lot of good that does when you're facing six to 10 years in prison. The commissioner is going to kick you out of the league. Your sponsors are also cutting ties with you. Wait, what, what, what does this mean? It means it's over, son. You had a bright future and you wrecked it. I hope it was worth it.
Jackson's career was officially over. Six years later, he was released from prison, eager to restart his life. But he quickly realized that restarting his life wouldn't be so easy. After losing his sponsorships and spending most of his money on legal fees, Jackson's bank account was empty. Jackson tried to find a job, but because of his criminal record, he was denied work over and over again. Jackson had burned almost every bridge he ever crossed, leaving him with nowhere to turn. Without any options, Jackson ends up being homeless, begging for change, something he never thought he'd do. And then he ended up running into someone that he never thought he'd see again. Jackson? Yo, look who it is. Oh man, this is a sad sight, huh? Oh man, you, you reek. When's the last time you had a shower, bro? Oh, God. Hey, 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 come here, man. You know who this guy is? He used to be in the NBA. But he threw his life away because he wanted to be a diva and a drunk. Imagine being a loser that big. <laughs> you made your point, man. Just go somewhere. Yeah, not a chance. Not after all the smack you talked about me for years. Yeah, hey, man, let me ask you a question real quick. Dead serious. How much does it suck to live in a penthouse? and then now be on the streets. <laughs> Who's a loser now, huh? Hey, leave him alone. Picking on the homeless guy, what's wrong with you? Yeah, you wouldn't say that if you knew this dude like we do. Actually, I do. We played ball together back in college. Oh, yeah. So you know that he deserves it. No one deserves this. Now get out of here. Go. Thanks for that. Man, what happened? Last time I saw you, you were driving a Porsche and living that good life. Just lost it all, man. Being stupid, arrogant, treating pretty much everyone I know like a jerk. Including you. Honestly, I, I'm sorry for the way I treated you the last time we met. That's pretty awful of me. We're cool. Hey, you looking for work? Yeah, always. Just if I had much luck landing a job with a record and everything. There's open position at the restaurant. I'm a manager now, so I do all the hiring. Your record won't be an issue. Yo, are, are you for real? Man, that'd be amazing. But dude, why are you treating me so nicely after how awful I was to you? Because I believe in treating people well on your way up. You never know who you might need on your way down. Who knows? In a couple of years, you may be back on top. Hopefully, you treat me the same way. That's what's up. You know, I just moved to my new apartment. I got a couch you can crash on and see if I need a new place. Interested? Yo, are you for real? And that way I can take you to work. You'll never miss a shift. Yeah, I'd love that. Get someone else out here. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm the only one available at the moment. This is ridiculous. I came here for a quick wash and I get stuck with some dinosaur. I promise, sir, I'm just as fast as the younger guy. Give me your manager now. Hi. What seems to the issue here? I'm short on time and need someone competent to wash my car, not some old geezer. <laughs> well, Daniel here is one of our fastest employees. He's ancient. Your 30 minute guarantee is why I picked this car wash in the first place. And there's no way old man River here can get it done that fast. I understand your concern, but Daniel is the only employee available at the moment. And I assure you, you'll be happy with the service. Fine. But if it takes one second more than 30 minutes, you will not be happy.
done. What, are you blind? You missed a spot. This, this, this can't be. This, this car was spotless, I swear. What, are you talking back to me? Jeez, I knew you'd mess this up. I'm not paying for this. Sir, please, don't do this. They'll take it off my paycheck, and I really can't afford that right now. If you just give me, like, five seconds. What, so you can screw it up again? Is everything okay? No, everything is not okay. Just like I predicted, he left my car filthy. You promised to have my car clean in 30 minutes or less, and you didn't deliver. I'm not paying for this. Sorry, Jerry. I don't know how it happened. This car was clean, I swear. Corporate policy is corporate policy. I'm going to have to dock your pay to cover the wash. Come on, Jerry. Please don't do this. You know how I need this money. Sorry, Daniel. It's out of my hands. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be okay, I'm here. Uh, tell, tell me what you need. I tried to call, but my phone died. Try to call for an ambulance, can you please call? Uh, yeah. oh. 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 I'm sorry, miss. My phone is out of minutes. Oh, look. Oh, 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 everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna drive you to the hospital myself. Come on, I got you. Push yourself. <laughs> Here, drink this. What were you thinking? You know the doctor said you shouldn't be upsetting yourself like that. I'm just useless. I can't even clean the house anymore. Become nothing but a burden to you now, honey. I'm really sorry. You are not a burden. Yeah, we'll tell that to the past due bills right now. Don't worry about those. I'll get them paid. <laughs> you should really just stop paying for my treatments and we just put that money towards some of these bills and get them paid. And maybe you should start planning for a future without me. There is no future for me without you in it. Remember what I always say? Better days are just around the corner. And we can't give up, right? Daniel, my office, now. In five years of running this place, I've never gotten less than five-star reviews. Until today.
Jerry, I promise you, that car was spotless. You might be right about that. But I can't afford business reputation tarnished. I have to let you go. Jerry, please, please, please don't do this to me. I really need this job. Without it, I don't know how I'll survive. I'm sorry, Daniel. The decision is fine. May I have your badge? It's late. Are you coming to bed? Oh, I'm just trying to pay some bills. <coughs> we can't keep paying for my treatments. It's okay, really. Oh, no way, not gonna happen. Brighter days are just around the corner. I, I can feel it. Sir, I just need one more week. It's you. Wait, how did you find me? The night we met, you had on your uniform from the car wash. But when I went there to find you, they said that you had been let go. Come in. Come in. Thank you. And that's how Daniel saved me and my baby. You never tell me this. It's nothing special. I just did what anyone else would have done. You know, when I was trying to track you down, I learned a lot about you. I found out that you used to be very successful yourself until you had to quit and take care of your wife. And that you'd be looking for work once she got a bit better, but that no one would hire you because of the gap in work years. It's all true. And I don't regret it for one second. What are you doing now, financially? We're doing what we can. But uh, to be honest, you know, we've seen better days. Well, that is actually why I came here today, to bring you those better days. How would you feel about coming and working for me? I own a successful business, and I could really use someone like you on my team. Wow, that sounds amazing. I, 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 I promise I'll be the best employee ever seen. But you wouldn't just be an employee. I'd like to hire you as a senior manager. What is this? Wow, oh my goodness. I, 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 can't, I can't accept this. Oh, yes, you can. This is a hiring bonus. Starting pay is six figures, plus it comes with an amazing healthcare plan that would cover your wife's treatments. This is too much. I don't deserve this. Oh, but you do. You deserve this and so much more. The world needs more people like you. This deal will not only be good for your company, it'll save mine. So let's please, please make this happen. Okay, I'm ready to do whatever it takes, whatever you need of me. I mean, that sounds amazing. Uh, we just have to get our manager to sign off on it. Great. Ah, perfect. Here he comes now. Daniel, impeccable timing as always. You've got to listen to this pitch. No need. We're not doing any business with this gentleman. But you haven't even heard my proposal. We only invest in companies with character. You've already demonstrated you have none. But thanks for coming in, though. I 
are those for me? They sure are, my love. <laughs> Cute. Oh, they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. You were right, you know. About what? About the better days. They were just around the corner. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? Come on. I'm sorry, it's not much. Um, where do we sleep? Well, Bobby, you and Ocean are welcome to take my bedroom, and I'll take the couch. Can I get y'all anything to eat? Do you have some mac and cheese or PB&J? Or some Takis? No, I'm sorry. But we can go to the store and I can... I know. We'll go to my garden. Anybody want a tomato sandwich? No? <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpa, wake up. Oh. Hey, kids. You already dressed? It's 7.30. We can't be late to our first day of school. Oh, no, no, you can't, Ocean. We wouldn't want that. What about breakfast? Breakfast. You kids like Raisin Bran? Ew. No. They like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Okay. How about we stop by McDonald's on the way? You're not going to change? Oh, okay, right. We're definitely going to be late. Okay, here we are. Um, you guys have a good day at school. Excuse me. Yes. Just now dropping them off. Yes, I am. Sorry about that. I, I haven't done this in a long time. My name is Ernest Smalling. I, I'm uh, um, Bobby and Ocean's grandfather. Principal Owens. And was that McDonald's I saw the kids have? Yes. Um, Hotcakes and hash browns. Every kid's favorite. Doesn't sound like a very nutritious lunch. Breakfast, actually. I didn't even think about their lunch. Shoot! Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to take this, but I promise they won't be late again. Uh, hello? Yes. Yes. I'm on my way now. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Ah, he, yes, sir. I'm outside. I'm on my way in right now. Sorry. Oh, hey, Miguel. Um, I uh, wanted to apologize to you for being late. Um, my grandkids recently moved in with me, and it's been tough. We all have personal lives, but that doesn't make it okay to disregard our personal responsibilities, does it? No. No, it doesn't. You're right. And I apologize. Okay. Uh, Miguel, I was wondering, is it possible for me to get an advance on my check, please? Hey, I picked up some groceries on my lunch and brought them. You got 
got mac and cheese and PB and J and cinnamon toast crunch. I sure did. What would you guys like to eat? Can you make us mac and cheese with fries? Fries. Actually, I can. Uh, there's some potatoes in the garden, and you guys can help me pick them. Come on. Come on. Wow, you planted all these? Mm -hmm. Gardening is my passion. It always has been. What happened to this plant, Grandpa? Well, looks like pests got a hold of that one. You know, little bugs and such. So it's just dead now? Nope, that's the magic of gardening. Gardens are resilient. They face different challenges like bad weather, pests and diseases, but they can bounce back from those hard times just like humans can. That sounds like something Dad used to say. Yeah, he say it's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. That's exactly right, Ocean. Now, right over there is the potato plant. You can tell that it's ready for harvesting because the vine is completely dyed. Watch. See that? Now, isn't that a beauty? You know so much about plants, Grandpa. How come you don't teach gardening? Oh, I don't know. That sounds nice. And I'd much rather do that than work at Bullseye, that's for sure. But I don't know how to get into that. All right, let's go make french fries. Grandpa, time to get up. Morning, kids. Breakfast and lunch are ready. Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Dad used to draw smiley faces on our lunch bags, too. Well, I wonder where he got that from. We're making good time, guys. Not only will we be on time, we're gonna be... Uh, Principal Owens, I'm sorry that they're late again, but you see, my car wouldn't start this morning, and, and we, had to, we ended up taking the bus all the way here. It doesn't matter now. They've missed everything. Uh, I don't follow. School let out at 11.30. Today was a half day for placement testing. Didn't you read your calendar? The calendar? Uh, where would I find that? Online. And if you paid attention, like the other parents, you would know that. They have missed their exams. Children, can you give your grandpa and I a moment, please? Mr. Smalling, taking care of children requires great responsibility and awareness. I'm responsible. Are you? Because yesterday, in the cafeteria, Bobby and Ocean had nothing to eat. So I purchased their lunch out of my own pocket. I am so sorry. How, how much do I owe you? Well, actually, would it be okay if I paid you after the weekend? Um, again, I'm really, really sorry. Sir, that is not the point. You are always late. Sometimes you forget to feed them, and you don't have any money. Are you sure you are fit to take care of these children? Yes. I am. I am fit. Oh. Uh, I really have to get to work. Um, but I promise you, I will have them here on time tomorrow with lunch. We can't stay home by ourselves. What are we going to do now, Grandpa? How about you guys come to work with me today? Ernest, what time do you clock in? I know, I know, I was late, really late, and I'm sorry. 
But, you, you know, my car broke down this morning and I, I just... What did I tell you the last time? Hmm? That personal issues aren't the reason to disregard your professional responsibilities. This is your second strike. I understand. One more slip up and you know what that means. Who left their kids here? This isn't a daycare. Miguel, actually, these are my grandkids. They missed school today, and I brought them here. I hope it's okay. I was gonna tell you. Get your things and go. You're fired. Pick up your last check from HR. Come on, I, I, I really need this job. Just go. Let's go home, kids. Come on. Shoot. What's wrong, Grandpa? Uh, Grandpa's got to find a new job, but I'm not having any luck. Well, why are you looking at a newspaper? Nobody reads those anymore. Yeah, only old people. Okay, so how do people nowadays find jobs? They don't. They get rich off of YouTube by making content. Which you can totally do. You can make videos on gardening. Actually, yeah. Ocean's right. I barely know how to use my flip phone. I, I, I don't know how to make videos. I, I'll stick to my newspaper. But you have us. We can help you. Mm -hmm. We can record it by iPad. Look at all these gardening videos. Some of them have lots of views. And you can make lots of money, too. Nah, I don't think so. I'm, I'm getting old. Plus, I don't know anything about teaching. What? Gardens are resilient. They face different challenges, bad weather, pests, and diseases, but they bounce back. You kids remembered all that? Yeah. What do you think, we're dumb? <laughs> See? You're a good teacher. You taught us, so please. Please, can you make a YouTube video? Please? Well, what the heck? What do I have to lose? Grandpa had no idea how to make money with YouTube, but he was willing to learn. Hi, guys. Welcome to the first episode of Grandpa's Garden. Right. And I'm Grandpa. than I get paid at Bullseye. This, so this really works. Mm. How about we go to the mall and I get you guys something nice? Would you like that? Yeah. But you don't get the money right away. You have to wait a month. A month? Oh, no. I, I don't think I could do that. Let me get this. Yes? My name is Alicia F. Whitaker, and I'm from Child Protective Services. May I come in? Um, is something wrong? Well, there was a report filed on you, so... A report? Who would do something like that? Well, I can't disclose that information. Um, this won't take long. I, I just want to look around. Is that okay? Hi, honey. You must be Ocean. What you making there? Ooh, that pot is a bit hot. I think maybe we should have a grown-up like Grandpa stir, okay? I only let her stir after the fire is out. I never let her by the stove when Are it's on. Are you early employed, Mr. Smalley? 
I'm in between jobs, but I'm starting to have some income come in. Just starting. So, sounds like right now, you don't have any income. Well, it, it hasn't gotten into the bank. Do you right get the kids this? baths regularly? They seem a little dirty. Well, of course they take baths. We were out working in the garden, and that's how they got dirt on their clothes. So you make them do manual labor? Manual labor? What are you talking about? Um, Ocean, Bobby, and I want you guys to go put your shoes on, okay? Wait a minute, what's going on here? I'm sorry, Mr. Smalling. Based on this report and everything that I've witnessed here tonight, I'm afraid I'm have to proceed with a, an emergency removal of both children. What? Grandpa, we don't want to go with her. Yeah, we want to stay with you. Oh, don't you guys worry. You aren't going anywhere. They aren't leaving here. They're staying here with me. You have no idea what these kids have been through. Mr. Smalling, you can do this the hard way or the easy way. I, I really don't want to have to call the police. Don't you guys worry. Grandpa's gonna get you back real soon, okay? Now, go and get your shoes on. I can't believe I let this happen. These kids have been so much. I can't cause them any more pain. What can I do? Well, soon you'll have what's called an adversary court date. Now, if you can prove that you're capable of providing for their basic needs, you have a pretty good chance of regaining custody. Bring whatever evidence, proof of income, stuff like that. I got fired from my job. The only other income I had coming in was because of them then I don't know what to tell you. Hopefully, you'll figure something out. Grandpa, that plant looks like it has problems. Does that mean it's gonna die? Well, what do you think, Bobby? No, because plants are resilient, which means they bounce back, just like people. Very good. Just like your dad used, used to say. he tell us it's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. It's not how many times you fall. But how many times you... How to make videos on YouTube for old people. Uh, hello, your honor. I'm here with the hopes of regaining full custody of my grandchildren, Ocean and Bobby. If you don't mind me asking, is there a reason why their parents can't take care of them? Well, their mother hasn't been in the picture since they were born. And their father, my son, he, uh, 
He's not around anymore. passed away in a car accident. And uh, that's how I became their guardian. They don't have anybody else. So you see, these kids have lost so much already, they don't need to lose me too. I'm very sorry for all your loss. But unless you can prove that you can provide for these kids, I can't give you custody back. Have you gotten a job yet? Well, no. And I'm sorry but without any income. I'm afraid I'm going to have to declare. Oh, wait, wait. I have income. In fact, I have lots of income. Look. You made $10,000 from YouTube? By teaching people how to garden. The kids got me started and I learned the rest on my own. I should have more money coming in next month. Wow. You went from losing your job to making six figures. I don't even know how that's possible. He's very resilient, that's how. Well, you're certainly right about that. Okay. From what I've seen here, there's no reason the children shouldn't be with their grandpa. I hereby declare that custody be reinstated to you effective immediately. Court is adjourned. Hey, kiddos, what you got there? Smiley face, <laughs> yeah. A tomato sandwich. We picked the tomatoes and cut them ourselves. Oh, yum, 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 you did. Watching Gardening with Grandpa has really paid off. Mm -hmm. Oh, your dad would be really proud of you. Now, come on here. I noticed that some of the tomatoes were gone, but let's finish getting the rest of them. How about that? Okay. Okie dokie. Well, any calls yet? No. Sorry, Daisy. We used to be getting calls all day, every day. We haven't had a call in weeks. A call. Hello, thank you for calling Daisy's Interior Design Services. What's the interest rate on my mortgage? Oh. Oh. Telemarketer. Of course. Uh, Daisy, yeah. sorry, I know the timing isn't the best, but the landlord came by. He said, we're 30 days past due. What? Great. We are not going to be able to keep our doors open much longer at this rate. Don't worry, Daisy. Great news. I have a new marketing idea. Oh, please don't tell me. So, we go back and we do things the old-fashioned way. We take out a full-page ad in the newspaper. Barb, nobody reads the newspaper anymore. And that would probably cost us every penny that we have. Look, Barb, I know that you have been in charge of marketing for a long time. And I appreciate everything that you've done. But it's time that we try something new. We need to get with the trends. And that's why I've decided to hire Allison Day to help us out with our marketing. What? 
Allison Day. She's like the queen of TikTok. Hey everyone, uh, it's a pleasure to be here and I can't wait to work. <laughs> oh, please tell me this is some kind of a joke. How is this 15 year old high school talk tick star going to solve all of our problems, hmm? I'm actually 20 and I have a lot of experience in marketing. You see, <laughs> I... You have a lot of experience in marketing, darling. You're just a child. You probably just learned how to tie your own shoes. I, on the other hand, have over 20 years of marketing experience. And that is what we need, not some kid. Barb, how could you say that to her? What? I'm just telling it like it is. You remember, old is gold. We need to put a full page ad in the newspaper. Allison, I am so sorry about that. I do not know what has gotten into her. Please don't mind her. I, I'll talk to her later, okay? It, it's okay. I get judged all the time because of my age. I'm used to it. Oh, one second. Oh, shoot. I really have to get this. Um, uh, Valerie, uh, would you mind showing Allison around? Are you kidding? I'd love to. Thank you. Yes, this is Daisy. Come on, Allison, follow me. I'm sorry, I've never met someone with so many followers before. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> so, who was that? You know, the oldest gold lady. <laughs> oh gosh, that's Barb. She used to have some good ideas, but she doesn't understand that marketing has changed. She thinks we're still living in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably why the phones have stopped ringing. <sighs> okay, so how do we get people to want to use Daisy's designs? These decorations, they're really cute. What if we... What are you doing? Watch, come here. I'm gonna show design transformation. So we'll start at the empty desk, and then I'll add each decoration on one by one. Uh, can you video as I do? Oh, I get it. Sort of like a time lapse of the design process? Exactly. And then I'll post the video on TikTok and explain to people how Daisy's Design Services can help them do cute stuff like this. Wow, I love that idea. What's going on in here? Oh, um, we're creating a TikTok. Here, check it out. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> This was your big idea? <laughs> oh, and now I suppose the phones will just magically start ringing. Well, they should. After I tag you guys, at least. What's your guys' TikTok? Oh, we actually don't have one. What? Really? Well, that's the first thing we need to do then. Here, let's Oh, just... no, no. We are not wasting our money on that. Oh, there's... No cost, it's free. It doesn't matter. Look, child, if after 20 years of marketing, I can't figure it out, you definitely won't. You're wasting your time. I can't believe she just talked to you that way. I am so sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. Don't let her discourage you. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. You know, I, I, I think I'm just gonna leave. Are you sure? I feel really bad. Uh, Allison? Allison, wh where, where are you going? I'm sorry. 
I just, I don't think I belong here. What? Barb hates me. Oh my gosh. What did she say to you? Please, tell me. All I told her was the truth. That her kiddish idea would never work. What idea? <laughs> she wanted to take some silly video of a desk and then tag something someone? I, I don't know. It wasn't silly. It was really good. I was trying to create a TikTok to show the design process of decorating a desk. I was gonna use that to drive traffic to your website and then push customers to the call to action, which in turn will make your phone start ringing. So you see, I do know a thing or two about marketing. Well, I think it's a great idea. Why don't we give it a try? Because it will never work. We do marketing here the traditional way, not by taking advice from some kid. That would be insanity. Old is gold. Don't forget that. Do you even know what the definition of insanity is? It's doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. If you keep marketing this way, you're never gonna see change. Old isn't always gold. Sometimes new is what to do. <laughs> Are you going to take advice from someone who has an MBA in marketing and over 20 years of experience or some kid who barely graduated high school? Allison, are you sure your idea is going to work? Yeah, I am. All right then, here's what we'll do. We will give Allison's idea a try. And if that does not work, then we will buy a full page ad in the newspaper. Fine. This shouldn't take long. Barb leaves as Allison stands there determined to prove her point. Allison and Valerie get back to their idea showing the process of designing a desk. When they finish recording, Allison edits the video and gets ready to post it on TikTok. Now I just need to write the caption. Check out Daisy's designs, link in bio. <sighs> okay, posting in three, two, one. Posted. <laughs> That was so good. Amazing. Nice job. Wow, that was really cute. I loved it. Thanks. <laughs> but I don't hear the phones ringing. Oh, uh, well, it really doesn't work like that. It takes some time. Mm-hmm. That sounds like an excuse to me. The phone, it's ringing. Hello. Thanks for calling Daisy Design Services. How can I help you? Am I happy with my mattress? Uh -huh. Who is this? A telemarketer. <laughs> oh, that must be so embarrassing for you. I told you her idea wouldn't work. This was a huge waste of time. It, just trust me, okay? It just takes time. Trust you? You're just a child with no experience. Hiring you was a huge mistake. Allison. Allison, please, don't go. You should not have treated her like that. Well, it is good riddance. She didn't know what she was doing. Now let's go full speed ahead on the newspaper ad. I don't want to waste any more time. Hello, Daisy's Designs. How may I help you? You saw our video on TikTok? You want help designing your office? Yes, absolutely. Finally, a customer. Oh my God. Hello, Daisy's Design Services. How can I help you? 
You saw our TikTok video. Absolutely, we can help you with that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hello? Yeah. Oh, what in the world is going on? Oh. Yes. The phones are ringing off the hook. It worked. Allison's idea worked. <laughs> she did it. I can't believe it. Thank we you. are back in business. We are back. Oh. Uh, Daisy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Daisy's design Four. services? Yeah. This Not is Daisy. Wrong. Absolutely. Allison, can I talk to you for a sec? What do you want? Look, I just wanted to say I am sorry for how I treated you. I guess I was just afraid of losing my job or being replaced by someone younger than me. Yeah, I, I guess I can understand that. <sighs> you were right. Your idea, it worked. I mean, phones are ringing off the hook in there. <laughs> well, that's great. I'm so happy for you guys. Thank you for saving our company. And uh, ironically, my job. You're welcome. Do you want to record a TikTok? Of course. <laughs> All right, let's swap this out. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. What is going on in here? Oh, well, we are recording a TikTok. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. A TikTok? You. <laughs> okay. Where is Barb and what have you done with her? Oh. <laughs> Seriously, what happened to advertising in newspapers? Well, I learned recently that old is not always gold. Sometimes new is what to do. Can I help you find something? Yes. I would like this in a size 10. Um, unfortunately, all the sizes we have are already on the floor. Rhonda always keeps a special supply for me in the back. Don't you know who I am? Uh, no. I am Avery Preston, probably this store's biggest spender. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Preston. This is my first day, but I have certainly heard your name. Well, go find my jacket before it's your last day here. Right away. Did you want me to start a room for you? I don't try things on. If they don't fit, I throw them away. <laughs> Nina, I didn't know you shopped here. Avery, hi. Um, actually, I really don't. I just, I was just returning something. Are those the shoes I got you for your birthday? Um. <gasps> okay. Yes, they are. I'm sorry. I'm returning them. I just, I love them. It's not that I don't. It's just, I couldn't justify having thousand-dollar pairs of shoes. I don't even have that much in my bank account. You have got to be kidding me. You are returning my gift for cash? It's fine. Tacky, but fine. Hurry up, I don't have all day. Get me my jacket. No, Chester, I need to know how this happened. I don't care how long it takes. We need to get this thing fixed. Apparently, some of uh, our documents weren't filed properly, so... We may not be going public in two weeks like planned. So what does that mean? It means that the big liquidy event that I've been talking about may not happen. Ben! 
You said we had a big payday coming. I know what I said, Avery, but things may have changed. Look, I, I don't know yet. Look, either way, we need to cut down on spending for a little bit. Just so we're in the clear. I have spent my whole life pinching pennies. I am not going back there. I'm so sorry, miss. Olivia, are you okay? You're bleeding. Do you have any idea how much those bowls cost? More than your entire paycheck. It, it was an accident. I, I lost my crib, and I promise I'll pay you back somehow. With what money? You can't even afford a piece of that bowl. Trust me. Look, we have plenty of dishes, okay? The most important thing is, is that you're going to be okay, all right? I'm going to go get a Band-Aid. You better not get blood all over everything as you clean up your mess. Nina? Is everything okay? It's my transmission. I think it's done. There goes that thousand. Why don't you just replace the whole thing? I mean, I don't know how you're driving around in this car. <laughs> it's not by choice. You know, not everyone is as fortunate as you. Avery! Oh, I love your purse. It's so chic. I am so glad I ran into you. Abby's having a birthday party at the end of the month. Bring the girls. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, Destiny and I would love to come. What does Abby want for her birthday? Oh, anything's fine. Lately, though, she has been into the Kylie cosmetics and the MAC makeup, even though I tell her you're too young to wear makeup. <laughs> but really, don't spend a lot. OK, well, it's no problem. I will get her both. Oh, and makeup is one of those great things that you can't return. You know, because some people like to return birthday gifts. Oh. Well, there's Abby. I gotta get going. I'll see you later. I did not appreciate that. You know that I'm struggling. Your little comments, they aren't helpful. I don't know what you mean. What happened to you? Ever since you got all this money, you changed. Yeah, I've changed. It's called growth. You know, that's not what I mean. Avery, we grew up in the same neighborhood. You know what it's like to have nothing. Why are you looking down on me? Look, I am not going to apologize for making it out just because you didn't. And I would appreciate if you don't bring that up in front of people. That is a chapter of my life I've tried hard to forget. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Mom. Oh, my gosh, we got to go. I've got that nail appointment. Why do you have grease in your hands, sweetie? Oh. Don't you worry about it. Go ahead and sit in the car. I'm gonna call somebody to help us. <sighs> Isaac, why are we stopped here? I'm sorry, Mrs. Preston. The road's blocked. I can't turn. <laughs> well, find your way around it. If I am late for my nail appointment, Sally will cancel me. Yes, Cannot go another day without a pedicure. For. I'm sorry, Mrs. Preston. This woman just jumped in front of the car. I... Mrs. Preston. Excuse me, do you have a death wish? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just really needed this bottle. That's all. I think you jumped out in front of the car on purpose. Wanting a payout, I'm sure. Look, I have a job. But I collect bottles for some extra... Wait. Avery. McMahon. It's Brenda Long from apartment 2C. We used to live right across the hall from each other before Ben's company started. <laughs> uh, you must have me confused with somebody else. Just watch where you're going next time. You're lucky we didn't hit you. Wow. I'd heard that you had changed a lot since your boyfriend's business took off. Husband. Right. Well, my mom used to say, be nice to everyone on the way up because you just might have to pass him again one day on your way down. <laughs> Good one. 
Who was that mom? A nobody. Isaac, let's get out of this neighborhood. I don't want to be here another moment. Yes, ma'am. Hello, darling. Hello, Earth to Ben. It's over, Avery. What? What are you talking about? The S1 docs didn't get properly filed. Now the IPOs. Hey, wait, trans- can you tell me in normal people talk? I have no clue what you're saying. We have no money, okay? The company hasn't been profitable in years, and we've been <sighs> living off of our investors' funding, and now that it's all dried up, I was counting on that public offering. God, now we're broke. We're broke. As in for a couple of weeks, or...? I don't know. It could be a couple of weeks. could be a couple of years. It could be forever. We need to cut out all of expenses immediately. Oh, man, I just let Olivia go. Now I got to go talk to Isaac. <sighs> we're going to have to move out of here. And... And? What? What else? You may need to have to get a job. I cannot believe this. I have spent most of my life worrying about money. And when we got married, you promised me I would never have to do that again. Do you have any idea how humiliating this is going to be for me? Me, Avery Preston, having to get a job. What are the other moms at school going to say, huh? And where are we even going to move to? I talked to our old apartment. They said that there's a unit available. What do you want me to do? We failed. You failed. You failed! Avery! Brenda, I was just visiting my, um... I ran into Ben this morning. He told me you guys moved back. Go ahead. Rub it in. I'm sure this makes you feel really good. No, not at all. I'm just sorry about whatever happened. Well, I'm off to my second job. (laughs) Does it really make a difference? I mean, collecting cans, could you not pay your bills without it? Oh, no, I can pay my bills and stuff like that. I do this so that I can save up. My son, he lives in New York with my mom. I couldn't afford to take care of him, so she offered to help. So it's, a. Uh, It's been three years since I've held him, and um, I do this so that I can 
buy plane tickets to go see him. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get so emotional. Um, I'll see you later. Brenda, wait. Here you go. Thank you. Mrs. Preston, sorry for your wait. Do you want me to get you a VIP room or a glass of champagne? No, I don't need any of that. Um, I, I came here because... I'm sorry, I can't quite hear you. I said I want to return these items. Oh, was there anything wrong? I know you're not one to return something. No, I just, I need the money. Can we make it quick, please? Yeah, right away. I need some trust. Mm -hmm. Is there something funny? It's just embarrassing. You're just one of those people. You probably buy designer clothes just to look rich and then return them. <laughs> Excuse me? Do you know who I am? I am Avery Preston, this store's biggest spender. Looks like this store's biggest returner to me. So tacky. <laughs> all right, we're all set. Did you want store credit? Could I get cash, please? Hey. Avery, are you okay? Um, yeah. I will be. What's up? Well, whatever's wrong, I got some news that's gonna change all of that. The company is going public. Do you know what that means? We're rich again. We're rich, baby. Are you sure? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I didn't want to jinx it until it was done, and I just got the confirmation about an hour ago. I already broken the lease on our apartment, and I found a spectacular six-bedroom in the hills for us. That's... That's wonderful. I'm sorry. I'm still in shock. Well, look, I know you're still at the store. Why don't you just buy yourself something nice? Shoot, why don't you just buy the whole store, okay? Things are going to go back the way that they were. This is fantastic. I love you so much, baby, okay? And I'll talk to you later. All right, here you are. Is there anything else I can help you with? Actually... Moving out so soon? Yeah, um, <laughs> Ben's company went public after all. So we don't have to stay in this place anymore, thank <laughs> Well, I'm happy for you. At least one of us made it out of this mess, and you did it twice. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make it sound... I understand. Take good care of yourself, girl. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Why don't you go say happy birthday to Abby? Mind if I join you? Avery. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Thanks. So how have you been? Not the same. But no complaints. Yeah. I heard uh, Ben's company went public. Congratulations. Thanks. I... <laughs> I got you a little something. Oh, the gift table for Abby is on the inside. This isn't for Abby. Please, open it. 
Say, well, you didn't have to do that. Well, I felt bad that you had to return them, and um, I felt even worse about what I said. Well, thanks. I mean, I really appreciate it, but I still can't take these. <laughs> it still feel wrong, especially when I just spent my whole savings fixing my car. <sighs> but you don't even know what's inside. I don't understand. I feel terrible about how I treated you, and you were right. I had changed. But I spent the last couple of months walking down memory lane, and now I remember where I came from. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this is going to help. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh. Kylie's cosmetics! Oh. <laughs> Please. Please. Yes. I'm guessing that one is from you. Well. <laughs> She's not going to be that happy when she sees what I got. Hey, at least you got her something. And you're doing the best you can. And that is all that matters. Welcome to Jean Sandwiches. What can I get started for you? I'll have a salami and Swiss on six inch white with all the fixins, please. Coming right up. What are you doing? What's wrong? I know you're new here, but we are not doing any charity work here, okay? I'm just trying to follow orders. It says, uh, put the meat on the scale until it reaches three ounces, so. You have to read between the lines. I'll show you. There, three ounces. I don't think we're supposed to do that. Who made the rule? Uh, well, you did, sir. So then what I say goes, got it? Good. I'm trying out some new policies to improve my margins and increase my profits. So there's gonna be a few more changes coming soon. Be prepared. Stop, stop, stop! You are still doing it wrong. That's way too much cheese. I'm just trying to follow orders that said four slices of cheese per sandwich, so... Exactly. Watch and learn. Okay. There. Four slices. That's... I mean, that's cutting corners. Literally. I am here to make a profit. Not to be a moral philosopher. Uh -huh. You wanted everything, right? Yes, please. <laughs> Yikes. Robert! Yeah. yeah? What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, I meant to throw this away this morning. No, I... that's perfectly good bread you're wasting. I thought we only serve fresh bread here. We are. Can't you read? It's Monday. Well, right, these were made last Friday, so. You're only supposed to count business days, not Saturday and Sunday. Uh, sir, I, I don't think that bread waits weekends to go stale.
we do. Is there a problem? Uh, no, sir. Um, it's just that this feels wrong, you know? Like, like we're taking shortcuts. <laughs> hmm. Let me ask you something, Robert. Have you ever run your own business before? Well, no, but it's always been my dream, you know, to, to, to have my own store, like my dad, who uh, actually he used to own a place a lot like this. Is that so? Yeah, I used to work for him too. He would always say, there's no cutting corners on the way to success. <laughs> ah. At least that's the business philosophy try to instill in me. So if he's so smart, why aren't you working for him? Well, he uh, actually had to close down his shop after. <laughs> <laughs> so you take advice from him and his business failed? You just proved my point. Let me tell you something, Robert. The more you cut corners, the more you profit. Remember that. But is it really the right thing to do? It's about right and wrong. You want right and wrong, listen to a priest. You want to know how to run a successful business, listen to me. Today's lesson, use Friday's bread. What if, what if the customers find out? Just toss it in a toaster for a few seconds. They won't know the difference. Back to work. Welcome to Gene's Sandwiches. What can I get started for you? I uh, could I have one of those. Sure thing. Here you go, and have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. How's everything going? Um, good. Following my rules to a T, I hope. <gasps> oh, come on! Uh, I'm so sorry. It's totally fine. I'll, I'll clean it up. Thanks. I really don't know how that happened. I, I'm such a klutz. You know, can I get a refill on the drink? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely not. Here. Clean it up. Okay, no problem. Why would you offer a new drink? What? Well, I mean, that's our company policy, right? Free refills? Not anymore. Since when? Since now. $3? That's, that's more than the drink. Inflation. Soda ain't cheap. We can't just keep giving refill after refill, especially in these situations. I don't think that she did that on purpose. It was clearly an accident. Did you forget about what we talked about today? I gotta get that. Make sure you collect $3 or no soda. There you go. I'm sorry about that again. Don't worry about it. Happens all the time. <laughs> I appreciate it. So can I still get that refill? Uh, I hate to tell you this, but uh, we actually just change our policy. It's um, it's gonna be three dollars if you want to refill. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well then, can I just get a water? I guess. Um. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, I'll get you that refill. Don't worry about it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Thanks. Um. Okay. I'll just be sitting down. Sure. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy. How dare you? What? I saw you on the video camera while I was on the phone. You gave that customer a free refill. Look, it was clearly an accident, and I don't think that she should have to pay for it when you just changed the policy. Fine, I'll just take those $3 from your tips. That's not fair. Let that be the lesson for you to do what I tell you to do. No more refills. But that made a lot of customers really happy. And if we keep cutting corners like this, then- I'm getting awfully sick of you constantly preaching to me. <laughs> if you want to make these customers happy, how about you do it at your dad's shop then, huh? Oh, yeah, you can't. Right, because his business shut down. That's really not very nice. I'm not here to be nice or make friends. I'm here to make money. So either you do as I say, or you're fired. How about that? Fine. You know what? I don't want to work in a place that's run like this anyway. Wow. So that's it, huh? Yeah. I'm done. Good. I'm better off without you. 
So maybe you can use this opportunity to open up your own shop. And with the way you run a business, you'll fail in no time, just like your dad. My dad's business didn't fail, okay? He had to take time off because he, he had health issues. But when he was open, he was actually really successful. Mm. Sure, kid. You'll close down faster than you can say pastrami on rye. And don't think that I'm not taking this. You're unbelievable. You know that? Robert decides to leave, determined to start his own shop. When he tells his dad about how Gene treated him, his dad decides to do what he should have done all along. He writes Robert a check for him to start his own business. Robert couldn't be more grateful. With the money his dad gave him, he doesn't have enough to open his own shop, but he does have enough to start a hot dog stand. Within a short time, Robert's Dogs was officially open for business. In the beginning, everything seemed to be going great. He didn't cut corners and went above and beyond to take care of his customers. Even if that meant sometimes taking losses. What Robert didn't expect is how quickly bills began adding up. Running his own hot dog stand was more expensive than he thought. He soon realizes that he may not be able to stay in business for long. Eventually, he decides to give up. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, actually, would you mind adding some chili for me? Oh, of course. It's perfect. perfect. How much extra is it? Oh, don't worry about it. There's no extra charge for chili? No, it's, it's on the house. I've never had that experience before. Um, thanks. Have a great day. Well, well, well. What do you want, Gene? I heard you started your own car. How's the, uh, the new business going? It's, um, it's going fine. Thanks for your concern. Look, if you're not gonna buy anything, can you please hey, just... Robert. Sorry to bother you. I just came by to drop this off. Right. Um... Right. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll take care of it. Look, I don't mean to be pushy, but if you don't start paying your rent soon... I know. I know. Uh... Let's go. Grab donut. It's going fine, huh? You see, you about to shut down even sooner than I thought. It's just, it's just taking me a little bit longer to get off the ground. That's, that's all. Right. Hold on. I've been waiting for this moment. I told you so. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I had offered you your old position back, but unfortunately for you, that position has been taken by someone who actually understands how to follow orders. <laughs> Even if I was homeless, I would never go back to working for you. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is it that your dad would tell you again? Um, uh, oh, there's no cutting corners on the way to success. <laughs> How did that work out for you, huh? Look, can you please just leave, okay? Things are hard enough without you making them worse. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself, kid. It's, it's like they say. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You could just tell them that you were following in your dad's footsteps. <laughs> Sorry, is there anything else I can get for you? I just come back to say that that was the best hot dog I've ever had in my life. Thank you. Yeah, we uh, locally source all our ingredients and it's 100% uh, real beef. I, um, I prepare it myself every day before work. 
Oh, I believe it. I mean, you can taste the quality. I didn't get a chance to introduce myself earlier. I'm a producer for the Food Lovers Network. What? I know this show. I, I used to watch it all the time with my dad. Oh, that's great. We have a new segment called Undiscovered Gems. If you'd be open to it, I'd love to feature you. Are you serious? Yeah, I, absolutely. Great. I'll be back tomorrow with my videographer and we'll start filming right away. And uh, thanks again for the free chili. Anytime. Robert's excited once again, hoping to find the lifeline he needed to help his business succeed. The next day, Jeremy comes back with his videographer and features Robert's amazing food. Robert goes into details as to how much effort he puts in to making the best quality product possible. When the interview airs, Robert and his dad couldn't be more excited. It's the exact kind of exposure Robert needed to really make his business boom. Within a short time, he had customers lined up excited to try the amazing food they saw on TV. Robert couldn't be any more happy. Amazing segment on the Food Network, by the way. I appreciate that. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, hey how are you doing? I'll just have a hot dog with ketchup, please. Sure. Coming right up. Thanks. Well, uh, hey, sorry, uh, uh, Give me a moment. Hi, Jean. I'm uh, surprised to see you're still here. Yeah, well, things have actually been on the up and up ever since my segment on the Food Network. Uh, is there something I can help you with? Yeah. I, I was wondering, do you think I can get the producer's contact to help you get on the show? I was wondering if maybe they want to do a story on my sandwich shop. Yeah, um, I, uh, I don't think so. I'd be careful if I were you. You know, not all news is good news, and, well, I've seen your two-star reviews, and frankly, I, uh, I wouldn't want that on television. I, I don't know what to do with those. Ever since I started changing my policy, um, business has been slow. Well, I... I try to warn you, there's no cutting corners on the way to success. Maybe, maybe you're right. Well, if you ain't gonna give me the contact, do you think I could try one of these dogs? I wanna see what all the fuss is about. Well, sure. If you want one, you're gonna have to wait in line. <laughs> Do you know who I am? This is ridiculous. I don't wait in lines. Look, we're hiring if you need it. It's good seeing you too, Jean. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank How you. Are you Welcome to Rapper's Dogs. What are we gonna get for you? Hey, can I get a hot dog with onions, please? Sure. Hey, son. Wow. I'm so sorry. Can I, can I get a moment? Yeah. I can't believe this is all you. I, I mean, what can I say? I, I had a great mentor. <laughs> you look well. Tell me about it. It was driving me crazy locked up in bed all day. <laughs> now that I'm up, who knows? Maybe I can work for you. Seems like you could use the help. I, uh, I've got a better idea. Here. What's this? It's a uh, thank you for helping me get the money together to start my own business. <laughs> you don't have to pay it back. I appreciate it though. Dad, it's not money. Just open it. Please. Okay. Jeez. So we can start our own business together. Hmm? I still don't understand. Look, I know it broke your heart when you had to close down your store, so I talked to the landlord and they haven't leased out the property yet. So they agreed to rent it to me. Are you serious? 
I don't know what to say. I do. You'll help me make hot dogs. <laughs> of course. <laughs>